Usikunwe tena soda waziri, ndio hiyo tu. Ndio jamaa watasema na the National Coconut Festival would be the last important assignment for Felix Koske as Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture, pending a probe into his integrity, necessitated by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission's report. Today, Koske, flanked by his daughter, would become the first top official to bow out to pave way for the investigations. Aspersions has been cast on my name. And I've decided, before even seeing the allegation myself, to step aside because I know I'm clean and I'll be cleared. So I don't have to wait for, for even Parliament to, to, to open the, the, the document and read. But personally, I felt that I need to step aside today so that investigation can start immediately. He says he contacted State House last evening to confirm the presence of his name in the list of shame that remains confidential until it's tabling in Parliament on Tuesday. I have chosen this road less travelled, not because I'm guilty of any allegations, but to lead by example, because public service is based on trust, and once the public confidence eroded, the right thing to do is to step, to step aside. For the 22 months and 12 days he was in office, Koske reckons he faced serious challenges in the course of duty. Mark you, this sector is a sector full of cartels, sector that you fight every day because people are resisting change because of what they have been um, uh, getting all through. And uh, we've shared, even with this excellent the president, many times about the corruption the scandals that may arise because of these cartels. And uh, systematically, we've been closing one by one. Depending on the outcome of the investigation, his departure may just be short-lived. He left the ministry headquarters in a self-driven car, his daughter by his side. As Felix Koske drove away into a period of uncertainty, he leaves behind not just the trappings of power like this official vehicle, but also a challenge to other top officials named in the report to step aside as well, triggering a possibility of a chain of resignations of other top guns in the coming few days. I live short. But it was just a matter of hours before the next big names called separate news conferences to announce their resignations. First off was Rhodes Cabinet Secretary Engineer Michael Kamau and his Principal Secretary Ndova Muli. Nitakaa kando ili kuwapatia nafasi wale ambao watafanya uchunguzi vidi ya madai eti nimehusika na ufisadi kufanya kazi yao bila pingamizi yoyote kutokana na mimi kuwepo ofisini. I believe in the fullness of time my name will be cleared of these allegations and if it pleases His Excellency the President I will continue to serve our great nation. Like Koske, they claim they are not privy to the information regarding the crimes they are accused of. I've been a peers in this government from 2007 so I don't know which area they are looking into. I've appeared several before the Public Accounts Committee, so I don't know any specific uh, issues that they, they may be raising. Next to throw in the towel was Petroleum and Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Churchill, who had already been summoned by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission over involvement in the infamous Chicken Gate scandal, where top officials in the Electoral Commission allegedly earned favours for ensuring a UK printing firm won several tenders to print election materials. Um, no, they haven't gotten back to me, and like I've said, if there were any clarifications to make, I did indicate that time and I've indicated today that I'm available, I'm willing to make any clarifications, but they have not gotten back to me. Question now is, is the 60-day period suggested by the President to investigate and prosecute those found to be culpable adequate? Salvitabet, Citizen Weekend.